Hello there, everyone. This is Texcoin. And as you can see, for most of uh, you that have uh, been on the hunt for this one, um, San Antonio Mission Quarters, I found something very interesting. And for those of you that like um, collecting coins, uh, I was looking up uh, and checking out um, J&B Coins. They got a, a channel also in, um, in regards to also mint errors and uh, prices on coins and their values. But um, it was interesting to hear these videos, but yet, um, JMB, here's something for you guys that uh, I didn't see on your posting. So I'm sharing this so we can all be looking for these quarters and actually start collecting them because there's a lot of mint errors on this San Antonio Mission Quarters. And I'm going to show you here are going to be two that I found two real nice mint errors on this uh, on this San Antonio Mission Quarters. As you can see this one here, this will be your normal reverse and this will be your normal upverse. I've not found anything uh, strange or out of the uh, normal um, minting on the upverse. I've found them on the reverse. For those of you that don't know, uh, I'm just going to very, very quick give you an explanation on why these four designs that were actually designed. This will be some wheat. This uh, The reason they have it there is because it symbolizes the um, farming. And then we go with the arches which is this one here, the arches and the bell symbolizes community. Then, of course, the lion. The lion represents the Spanish culture heritage. And then we have the water waves. Water waves symbolizes the San Antonio River, represents the irrigation methods, and life sustaining resources. So those were the, the four uh, things that, or why they were actually mint it and the designers came up with this really nice beautiful design but that's just a brief history type of explanation but let me show you your normal reverse beautiful right really clean really clean now this quarter I got it on a fresh, new roll, uncirculated quarter. Beautiful, right? But what I found on this other quarters is going to be a really nice, beautiful die chip located on top of this building here or church or bell area here right here it's a real nice one there's some um that are smaller than others i found about eight of them already and then the other one is going to be a die break right here coming from this wave to the cross it's a real nice die break let me show you your normal upverse philadelphia mint 2019 san antonio mission u.s quarter reverse You see that right here already? By the by the cross here. Beautiful. Now JB uh coins did say and uh said something about the uh the lion's tongue being double die or uh, double tongue. 
I've not found uh, one yet, but I'm still looking. Thank you very much, AB. And then we go here, as you can see, your die break. See right here? I've not found anything yet on the wheat or on the cross. Let me see how close I can get here. Pretty nice, right? Pretty nice looking error. Now on your normal reverse, we didn't see the die chip there or the die break. It's just really beautiful now on this other one that I got here it's also a Philadelphia mint it's about the same See right here? Some are bigger than others. But we also have that die break right here. Things to look for. Things to look for. I thought this was really good. Really, um... A cool find and like I said uh, there is a lot a lot of mint tears that are um, really nice on this San Antonio mission quarters but as soon as I get that W I am um, hoping to get one soon because they're already out there in circulation I've not found one yet, but I'm working on it. But if you find this type of quarters, whether they're Denver Mints or Philadelphia Mints, go ahead and hold on to them, guys. Go ahead and hold on to them because especially if they're not in circulation or out, out in circulation, just go ahead and hold on to them. Make sure they are preserve them and um, put them in a coin holder and just mark them down and hold on to them, especially if they're real nice looking like this one's. These are two great mint errors found on this quarters. And as per your normal, it's not bad. Hope you like this one, guys. JB Coins, thank you very much. And hope you find this video interesting as well. Shout out to all my subscribers, my viewers, my friends. And I just want to thank you all very much for enjoying my uh, videos, enjoying my channel, and subscribing. And wishing you all safe and happy Thanksgiving. Just be careful on the road if you're going to be out there traveling to uh, visit family members. Be safe. Drive safe. Buckle up, please. Please buckle up. Buckle up them little ones. If you have little ones, children. And um, I will be posting more interesting finds. But for now, you all be safe. Take care. Bye-bye.